What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video and now we're taking a look at the new God of War Ragnarok PC port. Definitely one I've been waiting for. I beat this game over on PS5 when it came out and I've been curious to see how they would do with PC and really it's been a pretty good port so far and I'm enjoying it on all the different devices in my PCs. Getting into it on Steam Deck though here for the settings, we're going to take a closer look but I'm mostly going to be just an FSR3 quality with low for my settings, medium on my textures and we'll take a look at some of those settings here in just a minute too and show you what those do but for the most part with this performance is definitely playable here on the Steam Deck at least in my first four or five hours into the game. So let's get into it here and take a look. So at my low medium textures, 800p, 3.1 FSR on quality. If we go in here and we want to change some settings, you can do this on the fly. You see the game light up back there when you get down to the upscaling. And you can actually go down through here and in real time change these settings. I love when games do this and Sony's been pretty good with these PC ports about making this available. So you can go down through here and see the performance differences and tweak some of these up if you want to. Uh, though certain areas of the game they will hit you pretty hard. And shadows, definitely not uh, down to 22 uh, just for medium there on that one. One of the worst ones to hit performance. You could get away with some of the other settings though if you really wanted to bring those up a little bit. But I really decided for testing this out, low settings, medium textures, this game actually looks really good. Sometimes it's surprising these days on PC what low settings actually are compared to what we used to get. But that's what you're looking at there. And as far as frame gen in-game, this game, much like Final Fantasy 16, is very broken when it comes to trying to use any in-game frame gen here, even with manual GPU clock on the Steam Deck. There are some games like Cyberpunk and others where this actually does work um, and it works pretty well, but not in this case here, no matter what I do with those things. So we're going to omit from messing with any in-game frame gen, but luckily we don't really need it here. Now, if you want to mess with getting some more performance with FSR 3.1, we do have quality, which I'm going to be using. Balanced will gain about 2 FPS there, up to 37 just sitting here. Performance taking us up another 3 to 40, so that's 5 total added on there from quality, and then ultra performance at 45, the biggest leap in performance there. But of course, with that comes blurred visual quality on ultra performance versus switching back over to quality here and for me my five hours or so into the game this is working out just fine with the four gigs of vram here on the steam deck though in certain areas of the game you're definitely going to dip down into the 20s from time to time but i won't say this has been the norm so far most of the time i'm able to stay in the 30s or 40s now the beginning of the game the first couple of hours and like the snow levels, those are not indicative of what a lot of the performance is like in the rest of the game. Unfortunately, we often got 40s, 50s, even 60 something in these beginning two hours of the game. But again, don't really use that as the judge of performance for this game. You've really got to get a few more hours in and start unlocking more areas to really see the performance. Getting into some more combat areas here, I'll just jump around. Again, there's so much more to get into with this game. It's such a long game with so many areas. Performance can really vary everywhere, but with the time I've got in so far, I can at least give you a decent idea of how things are looking here. And at least being pretty much just GPU bound all the way, FSR becomes very helpful due to the resolution, but also with the CPU being able to pretty much keep up, we rarely have stutters or hiccups, which is nice. For the most part, frame times stay nice and smooth, and that means a lot when we're moving around or getting into combat and most of the time this held out just fine and again some areas of the game have dipped down into the 20s but as you can see here and in some other areas I really was most of the time playing with these settings in the 30s and 40s so far here on God of War and there are certainly some gorgeous areas of this game and there's going to be different towns and things like I said I've beat this on PS5 we're going to get into some areas with a lot more enemies on screen down the road and I'm not sure what performance will do there but I have a hunch with what we're seeing so far even if it lowers a little bit or even if I need to up the FSR a little bit, I think we'll be all right there. But yeah, ultimately, even with these settings, the game just looks really good. And as usual, a nice port here. Definitely better than what we were seeing over with Final Fantasy 16 so far. Man, that's been a rough port and hard to run on a lot of PCs in general and on the handhelds. But this game... I kind of expected to work out pretty well. I'd say it probably looks a little better than the original God of War and is running at least as good here for a lot of my testing that I used to do with that. But yeah, unless I were to run into something down the road as I will keep playing through this game and unlocking more areas, if I get into some areas where performance get a lot worse or we get some updates that really help performance and even increase it more, we'll certainly be covering that here. 
But I think it's pretty safe to say that God of War Ragnarok is very playable here on the Steam Deck, at least in my first five hours or so of the game, and it's been really enjoyable. And I've been playing on the OLED, and I'll tell you, it looks fantastic on the OLED screen, both with and without HDR. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and if you're playing this on the Steam Deck or maybe the Legion Go, the Ally X, or anything like that, I'll definitely have videos for the other handhelds coming up. I'll leave you with the rest of this fight here just because I have it here for you. Thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. <laughs>